All right, I'm back. I had a lot of interest in the SRS LTE, and I feel like I really didn't do it justice with trying to do a real quick video. Uh, so I'll take it a little slower this time. Uh, what you're seeing here is um, the Dragon OS Focal Beta build uh, running uh, from the live USB uh, persistence. Or, or yeah the persistence USB I made and then I have another laptop running the uh, what I just uploaded a few hours or so ago uh, or maybe it was yesterday uh, the beta 2 build where I made some fixes and stuff and that's running live from a USB or yeah live from a USB and that has the um, B205 in it that'll be like the handset uh, what you're seeing right now on the screen that has the Blade RF plugged in. So I've tried to make this as easy as possible. Everything, all the blade drivers, the FPGA, all the firmware, uh, all the stuff for the Edis, everything is already downloaded and included in the actual image itself. So yeah, you should just be able to run this uh, from a live USB. Uh, so let's see, uh, on this, We'll take a look here just to show you. Uh, this has the Blade RF plugged in. I'll load it up. You can see the firmware version and the FPGA version. I've had good luck with the Blade RF running as the base station, uh, but not so much as the, the handset, the client device. So I think some work needs to be done there. So just like in the other video, uh, we need to get our EPC up and running and then the EMB. And I just pulled up the pages here. You all can read this as just as easy as me, but the EPC is the lightweight implementation of the core network. And you've got a little diagram here how it uh, actually works. They put really good information on, on their pages here. I've still got a lot of reading to do. So we'll get that set up in one terminal window and then the other terminal window will run the uh, actual enode b the base station and you can see all its features and everything on their uh, docs page on srslte.com so i'll pull open another terminal window we might see uh, a few errors here and there i'm still learning uh, the ins and outs of this and like I said, the blade, I, I've not really had an issue with the uh, Edis, the 205 that I have uh, at the moment. So let's see. So we'll do, and we need to use sudo SRS EPC. Yeah, that will get that running. And then over here in our other window, now there's, I guess another thing I should show is the there's default uh, configuration files here. And for example, you could change the emb.com file to reference the, uh, well, you see the IP, all that information here. Uh, got our gain settings. Now right here, you could, which I have uh, before I, I put in there, that's not normally there. The device name it normally defaults to UHD. I could uncomment this, and since I'm using a Blade RF, and when I say uncomment, I mean put it there, and then because uh, it's not there by default. Uh, let's see what else was I going to show. There's there. I mean, there's tons and tons of options here uh, that you can tweak this probably to your heart's desire. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, from the command line, SRS, EMB, we can look at the help file. A lot of the same things here can be appended onto the command. Uh, I'm just looking for right here. So I won't, I won't uh, edit the config file. I'll just do it right here from the command line.
and we'll put blade RF. All right, so this is going to be the base station. Now again, shield. I literally have everything in a box here. Cables just go in. So blade RF. Sometimes I have seen some errors here when it starts up. So I'll let I'll make sure this starts up. Okay. Everything looks okay right now. And then what I'll do is let's take a look at the other laptop here which is running the B205 and we can see here the U8 the SRS UE is the modem implemented entirely in software same thing on this end you can oops, let's see you can look at the SRS uh, now this is probably going to be a little slower because this is wireless, wirelessly connected to something else, and then I'm going through it to uh, through VNC. Uh, you can look at the comp file. Now this is where I found uh, settings that are set up by default for the. Uh, uh, you'll see the sim. Okay, so there's the MZ. The IMEI. Uh, now, now I'm not going to change the device type on here because I have the UHD or the USRP radio there, and so we'll do this as uh, uh, it's a little slow. SRS UE. That should be it. You're going to see a couple errors here because I'm running this live. I didn't install the uh, SDR Play uh, stuff, so you'll you'll see that or the SDR Play uh, API. I'll let this load up. It's actually already almost loaded on the laptop I don't know if okay there we go now this will this will be the handset and it will connect it will attach to the okay so you can see that there on this end what it looks like here okay Sorry, I had to move some stuff around. So now we're back to the base station. And you can see what happened here. We'll go a little slower this time. There's the MZ. Uh, we're connected. You can see the allocated IP. Now, let's see. So let's pull up. So let's try and ping the handset. Okay, so we're pinging the handset. We can see where it connected back. And let's go back to the handset. And you'll see there's errors a couple times here and there. Okay, and now we will ping the gateway. All right. So, I uh, you know I'm still learning, but uh, finally having the hardware. Obviously, two laptops with USB three is needed to really run these radios properly. Uh, multiple cellular antennas connected and of course everything in place if you were going to do this from scratch 
they have excellent uh, directions on what to compile and install and of course you'll need all the drivers and so on and so forth I just tried to try to make this uh, as out of box as possible so install Dragon OS Focal um, and you should be up and running well obviously get the hardware too so all right hopefully that makes a little more sense uh, that was uh, a little longer hopefully more descriptive if there's something else I can talk about or explain while I have these radios and equipment let me know uh, you know in the comments I'll, I'll do the best I can and uh, I don't have anything to make um, sim cards or anything like that I wish I did I had some people uh, some comments or a comment about that I maybe hopefully I can get some stuff in the future so all right thank you